here at HEB to grab some groceries because we are literally out of groceries completely. We have nothing. Nothing. I didn't make a list, which is probably a dumb idea, but let's see what we get. Had to restock on everything. Okay, so today's grocery haul is as follows. We'll start over here. I got a couple dozen eggs. I already have egg whites, but that's my main morning protein source. I have some zucchini, cucumber. These are white potatoes, bell peppers. That's pretty much my staple like vegetables, what I like, as well as spinach over here. And then this is my favorite Keurig in the morning, the wakey wakey. I feel like it's got a lot of caffeine in it. I've been having these, Christian gets the regular honey ham still, but I really like this Healthy Ones honey ham. It like literally tastes different, the texture's different. It's a little sweeter. Um, I don't know, I really like it. So that's the one I've been getting now. I wanted to try these because I kind of like the sausage patty kind of taste in the morning on like a sandwich or something. So I got some turkey breakfast sausage patties. Also got of course some rice cakes. Got 96% lean ground beef. And then our chicken, I got a lemon pepper chicken and then two regular chickens. Also some maple turkey bacon. I got raspberries, blueberries. Uh, here's some carb balance. These are little fajita tortillas with really good macros, they're like 13 carbs. I got some cheese, this is a Weight Watchers one. Uh, the macros are 4.5 fat, one carb, and seven protein. That's a nice little addition to anything to give it a little more uh, protein. And then we have some yogurts. I haven't tried this one yet. I want to see if it's any good. It has really good macros. And then I've been craving popcorn lately, and I'm always like, do we have popcorn? And we don't. So I got this 100 calorie healthy pop butter for fun for movie nights when I'm craving popcorn. So that is Zara. This is the grocery haul. That's my part of it. Christian got some other random stuff too, but that is a pretty staple for me. Those are pretty much the things that I'm going to get every time I go get groceries. And. That's all I got. Breakfast today is one egg, three egg whites, two slices of maple turkey bacon. I got a baby bell cheese and 80 grams of raspberries and 80 grams of blueberries. No intro to Max. <laughs> no. Well, uh, this wasn't gonna be an intro. I was gonna do an intro later. Okay, taking pre-workout. It's freaking cold, so I ain't putting my hair up yet. Don't even judge me, it's like a blanket. Oh, here at CG Fitness, this is my second workout here. It's so cold. And of course, Christian opened the door, which is next to all the leg equipment, which is what I'm doing today, of course. I just figured out, I didn't just figure out, but I didn't know what this contraption was called. It looks like this. It's apparently called a sissy squat machine. The first few YouTube comments I read, I was like, are they making fun of me? Like, calling me a sissy? It's actually called a sissy squat machine, but it's all quads. I'm very mad that I've never heard of this thing before. I'm gonna start warming up with that, and I'm actually gonna add that in later as part of the workout, but I just wanna warm up and get my quads firing with it, so, yo. And I'm also wearing a belt today, because when I do legs, I tend to get a sore back, so I just want a little more support there. Okay, you guys, today I wanted to try something a little different. I wanted to do uh, more interacting with the camera while I'm actually at the gym since I have that freedom to do that at CG Fitness. And I'm also going to just be coming in and out with little tiny commentaries. But I'm going to let all the workout footage just kind of play itself out instead of speeding it up and cutting it off like I usually do. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know how you feel about it. I can keep doing it or I can change it up and do it the way I was doing it previously where I kind of just make it a little shorter and more concise. So I hope y'all enjoy this uh, this workout footage. <laughs> Apparently, all these boys are like immune to the cold because they're all in freaking stringers right now. Hashtag. Yeah. But I'm waiting for them to get off the only two squat racks that they're doing pull-ups on, so I can do fun squats. 
43 degrees. Oh, San Antonio, one of them, San Antonio. Still, it's 43 degrees. It's really cold to me. Maybe I'm not working hard enough. And today, of course, I didn't take Super HD. It's a thermogenic, it makes you warm. Today, it's 64. We have no power, so we're bringing the truck in for power for the speakers. But I'm gonna do these front squats real quick for y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so to start off my quad focused leg day, I wanted to start with a compound movement. Of course, I like to do those at the beginning, uh, and I chose to do front squats since this is a quad focus. I feel that uh, that hits your quads more than my glutes as I feel in back squats. And also I just prefer uh, front squats because I have a more upright positioning and it's easier for me to do a uh, squat with proper form and not using my back as much because I have a tendency to do that, which is why I don't really like heavy squatting. But I do think that this belt is going to help a lot, especially because I really didn't like my Enzer belt and I do really like this belt. Working set number one, I'm probably just gonna record the first one because I don't have a lot of battery. All right, and I have to talk a little bit over this because if not, I'm going to get flagged for the music in the background but so excited to have some music in the background and the kind of environment here at the warehouse gym is just so motivating and it just makes me push myself so much harder. So I'm really excited to finally be in the CGHQ with all the space, all the square footage. It's so nice. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I did all my front squats working sets with the 95 pounds, felt really good. I loved it. I'm really excited to kind of be working my way up on the front squats uh, because I haven't done that in a hot minute. So yeah, I loved them. <laughs> Feeling really warm after my front squat sets. And now, I don't want to take off my jacket. I don't know what these fools are doing. <laughs> now we're going to do some reverse squat. <laughs> Reverse lunges are another exercise that I really like to target the quad area um, and I decided to do these front racked as well since I was really happy with my positioning in the front squat and it keeps my body very upright and um, in good form so I chose to do these that way and I really liked it. I only stuck with a 65 pound uh, bar because these are really challenging and they get my heart rate up like nothing else. I don't know what it is about them but very challenging. Uh, definitely will be keeping these in the routine. I'm doing some like press, the truck's over here. It's headlights on me, so the lighting's kind of weird. I used to be able to do four plates on each side on leg press, but I always felt it in my back a lot, and it's really painful, so I'm dropping my ego. I'm just kind of going light here, making sure I feel the movement where I want to. And I've also been wearing this belt. This is a Rise Gym Gear belt, which I like a lot better than the Inzer belt, actually. This Inzer belt was so uh, thick, and it like, hurt, and it didn't fit into my ribcage right. And this one kind of like folds with my body, so I like it a lot better. And it's Velcro, so it's really easy to adjust. Uh, so I really like this one right now. I've been using it all day. And I've been using it like just sitting at my computer because I don't have like a back. I just sit on the couch or a bench or something and my back starts to hurt after a while. So I don't have any support on it. So this actually really helps just around the house. I look ridiculous, I know, but I've been doing it a lot. Here we go, I'm gonna leg press a little bit. Gotta record this real quick while this camera dies. Max actually has the same camera that I do, so I might just steal his battery when he's not looking. For leg press, I started out with a wider stance and then did a few sets also with a more narrow stance, trying to hit the 
little outer quad sweep. By the way, my Converse were kind of slippery on this leg press device, which I did not like, but I did like the way uh, that it felt. I haven't done a traditional leg press in a while. I do typically do like the squat press, as you can see to the left of this machine, which they have at Lifetime. And then I've also been doing Christian's little lying leg press machine. So this was a different uh, little feel. I do put my hands on my knees just to protect them because I'm very paranoid about my knees. So that is why I did that. Okay, that felt really good. Surprisingly, my hair's not as much in the way as I thought it was going to be. It's being pretty cooperative today. And it's still warm. So I am actually, actually warmed up now. Maybe I'll put it up in a minute. <laughs> it's not as cold as it was an hour ago. Christian and Max are making fun of me for being creative with my workouts. <laughs> But I'm doing pistol squats right now. So watch. I've done these before on my pistol squat challenge and my Vlogmas series. There we go. Okay, don't make fun of me too much. I'm kind of awful at these, but it's a work in progress. I'm not any better than I really was over Vlogmas. Uh, but these are going into the routine on quad day as well, even though they're kind of overall quad glutes, everything. But uh, they felt so great. My quads were already on fire at this point, and uh, I really enjoyed them. So I, you know, will be improving. It took me a few tries to get kind of the the hang of it, you know, like it takes a couple reps to get it down and I still lost my balance like 10 times, but they're really difficult and challenging, which means you should add them because you shouldn't just do things that are easy for you. You need to do the things that are hard for you. Since they're making fun of me doing this, I'm gonna make them both try them now. Obviously, they're gonna be great at it. Okay, go, Christian. Did you invent this? Practice first. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's just a pistol squat. Um, I've seen people do it with the TRX, so I was doing it with the resistance band instead. Good job, babe. What well, can I ask you next? Yeah, if you need to, it's just kind of like a weenie move. Get your leg up more, man. There you go. Supposed to be up. All right, let's try doing that shit. Go, go, go. It's hard to balance. See, it's difficult. Maybe you should add these to your leg day. Yeah. I've been really wanting some new tips to work on my glutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. There you go. <laughs> he pulls himself. <laughs> Wait, there you go. It's just kind of for balance. You shouldn't be using it too much. Not like that one day. Because ideally, you should be able to do them without anything. But that's mm -hmm, exactly. I don't even care. Can you do this spot? Yeah. Damn. You told me like hold weights. Oh shit! I used to do it. I have to do it like really slowly. Let me see. Oh man. Ugh, God. Can you go that low? Like, grab your foot. Oh. Yeah. Too bad. Power lifting, man. <laughs> That's the secret. Is it really my quads on the I wasn't know, like, someone said, like, you have the good flexibility to do like this. I'm like, what? Oh, dude, I'm sore. I'm like, I'm nervous, sore. Okay. Now I'm back to sissy squats, so I'm gonna do it with weight this time. I gotta do it quick for my camera does. I'd rather do it right. We're gonna go back down after we go one way. I'll be able to do it. Maybe it's time when you can do it for my body. That's tough, guys. That looks tough. So stocky. Oh. <laughs> Shit, that's bad. 
I know what things cost down yes. by a day. Yes. Like a gallon of yes. gas so or a juicy filet. But buying a mattress didn't know what to say. Until I found out it would be days of hell. Oh, I don't know what to spend on it. How the quads feel? It's really hard. Burning like a motherfucker. Who's that? We're gonna burn out on leg extensions. Let's go. here at Genghis Grill after, oh my god, is that oil? I hope that was water. I put no oil on my thing. And they're gonna cook up my food. Here's my Genghis Grill bowl. All the boys' bowls look a lot bigger than mine. But I'm happy with it. So I've the exact same shit. All right guys, that is gonna conclude this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This is going to be my official like quad split for the next couple weeks. I'm going to continually do this exact same, the exact same exercises in a row and try to increase my strength and see if my weights can go up and whatnot because I don't do that a lot because I do like to mix it up in the gym quite frequently. Not that I recommend to everyone to mix it up all the time. I just do that to make my videos more entertaining, but I do want to stick to this specific split. So this is quad day leg focus, or leg day quad focus. I have a hamstring focus outlined and a glute focus also, so you'll see those soon. That's all. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed and put on my best suit.